Good morning. Can you hear me? Hello. Just my um, phone looks very fuzzy today, so I'm not sure what's happening. Um, how are you all? It's Anne Murphy here from Domesplicity, and I'm here to discuss the spring cleaning um, venture that we're all going on next Monday, if you can. And I just wanted to share today a room by room overview on um, what you can do to spring clean each room in your home and the main point that I want to make um, when I discuss spring cleaning is that you can do as little or as much as you like because I understand a lot of you are working out of the home or working in the home you um, might have small children it's um, really hard to try and fit that time into uh, just work solidly on cleaning your home every day. I tried to work three hours per day in my business so I'm still trying to do that as well as uh, spring clean my home so I'll be doing a little bit each day as well. So um, at the end of the broadcast today I'm going to be uh, dropping the um, check sheets that I created. Um, I created one for each room and uh, they'll be here. Oh, hi, Susan. Uh, yes, I'm going to be sharing a room by room breakdown of my home. So your homes are totally different. You might have two bathrooms. Uh, I've included a blank check sheet for you to fill in for other rooms you might have, like the laundry. I didn't do one for the laundry, but I'll probably give that um, a quick once over as well. I'll do one for my downstairs uh, entertainment room, family room. But these are just the basics, so let's get started. Um, I've created these check sheets, like I've said, that breaks down uh, every room. The general rule I go by is that you start from the top and work to the bottom. So you don't want to be cleaning the floors first and then have all the dust from the ceiling and the ceiling fans and lights coming down on a perfectly clean floor. So general rule, start from the top and work your way to the bottom. So the first sheet I've got is for uh, the bedroom. So I always start with washing the curtains. I do have um, a link to a post on my website about how to wash the thermo insulated curtains. Uh, I can't just set and leave them, but I do just wash them in the washing machine in this. I'll drop that link here in this post as well, how to do that. But most of the curtains in my house are thermal, thermally lined and insulated. But the other ones that I can just wash and forget, it's an hour cycle on my washing machine. So I give myself an hour, wash the curtains, and then give myself an hour to do the rest of the cleaning as much as I can in the bedroom. So that's the first thing, wash the curtains, wash the bedding. I probably won't um, change over my winter bedding until um, the end of the month when it gets a bit warmer. It does warm up quite a lot during the day here in Australia, in, uh, in Brisbane at springtime, but it's still cool at night. So I won't change over to summer bedding until the end of the month. I also try to wash the pillows and the dunas, uh, clean all the window treatments. So if you've got blinds, or um, screens, anything like that, clean those and I'll be showing you how I do all of these things throughout the month. I Like I said in my broadcast last week that I just use mainly water, detergent, simple homemade cleaners, nothing fancy. Um, cleaning the windows sliding door tracks and window sliding tracks so uh, I do that easily with bicarb and vinegar. I dust the ceilings and wash the ceilings if required. If there's like the bathroom, I might uh, wash the ceiling, but in the bedroom, it's usually just a bit of dust. Clean the light fittings, clean the ceiling fans, clean the air conditioning unit and the air conditioning filters. They should be done um, at least once a year. Uh, dust the walls and wash the walls if required. The main uh, walls I don't usually wash, but around the light fittings and doorways, I usually give a quick wipe down because there's usually dirty marks left from the kids. Uh, dust all the furniture, clean the mattress. So to clean the mattress, I usually just make up a, a solution of diluted tea tree oil and water and spray that on the 
mattress, let it dry, vacuum it, and then flip the mattress and do it again, let it dry, and um, all set to go. I know a lot of people do these things a lot more than once a year, but when you're busy and you're busy mum and you're working and you've got children, you know, like before I had children, I used to do these sorts of things once every three to six months and always kept on top of it. But I've decided since the children have been born, if I keep all these things until September when it's a new season and it's warmer and it's fresher and winter's finished, I just make sure that these are once a year jobs so I don't have to worry about them at all during um, the rest of the year. Clean the skirting boards, clean the sliding door tracks, I've um, mentioned that earlier. Vacuum the floor and deep clean the carpet if required. So I don't have, I only have a square piece of carpet in our main bedroom. I don't have carpet anywhere else but in the uh, family room. And I just usually sprinkle that with bicarb and a bit of essential oil and give it a bit of a scrub and vacuum so that usually brings it up pretty nice but also what you'll find on these sheets is um, a blank list so if you've got other jobs that aren't on this list you can do it but plus also the um, small decluttering and organizing jobs that you might find as you're going along i usually declutter clothes once every season uh, but other jobs i've i've left until this time as well, like I've got a couple of cupboards, a uh, couple of shelves in some of my um, cupboards that I want to give um, an organising and decluttering to. So I'll write them on there, but I won't won't write it down as declutter the wardrobe. I'll say declutter top shelf, declutter second shelf, clean out jewellery drawer, things like that, so that you can incorporate them into smaller more manageable tasks and then tick them off as you go so um, that's what that blank space is there for and um, yeah so that's the bedroom so you'll have each uh, one of those each for the bedrooms I'm also lucky that I've got two weeks school holiday uh, coming up in September so the kids don't know it yet but they'll be um, helping me they'll help me with those low down jobs like the um, wiping the skirting boards and that sort of thing. They did it last year and if I can give them a little bit of a reward as an incentive, that will usually um, do the trick. Something like a lunch out or a play at the beach or something like that. So, um, and I, again, this is the order that I do it in. You can do it in whatever order you like. The next one I've got is the bathroom. Same sort of thing, wash the curtains, um, the towels, the shower curtain if you've got one, clean the windows, Start from the top, work to the bottom, clean the exhaust fan. Thanks, Sarah. How are you? Um, clean the shower. And like I, I uh, have mentioned, cleaning the shower is made easy. Hi, Maria. How are you today? Clean the shower is made easy with a broom, a long-handled broom. You can really get into um, the corners of your shower and do the shower base really easily, do the walls really easily, and it really saves you from breaking your back. Clean the bath. We don't use our bath much anymore, but it just needs a good wipe and a clean. Clean the vanity, wipe down the walls. I also clean out any old medications, um, organize all my vanity drawers. Um, the, they really don't need doing unless you have a daughter in your house and she's um, completely demolished them by not putting things back where they belong. So that'll be a job. Clean the tile grouting if you've got a tiled floor or wall tiles there's some um, yes that's right heather it helps the kids to clean um these sorts of things i learned from my mother and i swear we would rather be out playing when we were young but we were there polishing wood and polishing furniture and cleaning screen windows and all sorts of things and we absolutely despised it but it set me up for some good habits in my um, adult life so yes they're certainly going to be helping me so that's the bathroom and same again you've got um, the blank side there to add any extra jobs that you've got to do if you've got if you keep your towels in your bathroom you can uh, you know sort through them throw out any old ones or use them in other jobs recycle them reuse them the next one I've got is a toilet that's pretty straightforward um, you'll see that I've got this little clipboard it looks makes me look all um, 
official that I'm walking around the house with a clipboard, but it just, it kind of, I think when you have a checklist, it eases your mind. You don't have to, um, you know, try and remember everything that needs to be done. And there's something quite um, rewarding, I guess, when, you, when you're ticking off something, you know, you think, oh, thank God that's done. You know, that part's done. And you look at your list and you've only got one or two things left to do. So um, that's what I love about checklists. So same with the uh, toilet. Start from the top and work to the bottom. Give your toilet a good clean, a thorough clean around the outside, and especially at the back. Um, you know, clean your toilet roll holders and any other accessories you've got in there. You know, give them a good disinfecting with eucalyptus oil or tea tree oil and some um, hot water and give it a good scrub. Um, so that's the toilet. The next one is the living room. Same again, start at the top, work to the bottom, wash the curtains, wash any cover, cushion covers or throws, uh, clean all the windows and sliding doors, uh, clean the window tracks, dust the ceilings, clean the light fittings, clean the ceiling fans, air con if you've got it, dust walls, dust the furniture and give it a really good thorough, thorough polishing if you've got good quality antique wooden furniture. Uh, dust any knickknacks or this could be a time to say do I really need those knickknacks out which I'm thinking might be the time to get rid of some of these things I don't necessarily have to get rid of them I can put them in a box and uh, put them in the shed for another time they, these are all sentimental things that belong to my mother and grandmother clean any plants so if you've got living plants or artificial plants this is a good time to um, clean them I love um, artificial plants because I don't have to water them but I just usually clean them under the shower and give them a good uh, spray with the shower hose vacuum under the lounge cushions and you might find some money or lots of bits of paper like I do from my kids clean the skirting boards and vacuum deep clean the carpet and because I've got polished floorboards I'll give them a, a polish with the special vacuum cleaner head that I've got it's got like a bobbly type um, microfiber head on it just to bring them up a bit there's plenty of scratches on my polished timber floors now but I can't help that the house needs to be um, lived in the next one I've got is the dining room and if you remember my live uh, feed that I did on my living room you can you'll remember that my living dining area is combined but I'll break it down into separate areas just so that I'm not so overwhelmed to get it all done same thing washing the curtains starting from top to bottom um, clean your dining chair so um, give them a good polish if they're timber or the legs um, if they're fabric uh, seats you know give them a good clean as well so that's the dining room I have to have a cup of coffee because I'm a little bit dry. The kitchen, I usually like to leave this one till the end because it's usually the biggest. By rights I should start start with it but um, it's always a little bit daunting so I work my way up to it. Uh, there's all the usual things starting from top to bottom but then um, I also include cleaning the stove top and the oven. I do have a steam cleaner. My husband bought me one for Christmas last year and it's um, it doesn't hold a lot of water and it, the steam pressure is still really good on it. But it's really good to get in behind the knobs on the stove and also um, in the area, the splashbacks, the grouting, all that sort of thing. So I'll probably dig that out. But you don't need to, you know, a good quality microfiber cloth will do that in some stoves you can remove the knobs and give them a good clean um, clean around and under the oven there's always little bits of food scraps that fall down from the oven if you've got a upright oven like I do uh, wipe down the kitchen cupboards clean the fridge so this is um, cleaning outside and inside clean the microwave inside and outside clean the dishwasher if you've got one I don't have one I clean the splashbacks and sink and wash the floor and this is also a good opportunity to do the same um, declutter and organize any areas of your kitchen whether you want to declutter your 
plastic straws, your saucepans, your baking trays, your pantry. Um, organize your fridge a bit better. That sort of thing. And like I said, if you're working and you're busy, you've got young children, just tick it off as you go. If you do one thing a day, one thing a week, it doesn't matter. It's just going to, you know, if it takes you two months or three months, at least it'll be a once a year thing that you don't have to do again until um, the following year. So that's why with my housework, why I've made it easy is because I don't worry about all these big jobs. I just do them once a year. I keep up, I keep on top of the housework with my three or four or five little jobs that I do in half an hour every morning and then I'm happy. I know that the house is in a state that I'm happy with and I don't have to worry about, you know, polishing kitchen cupboards or cleaning out the fridge. I've got fridge liners uh, which I sell in my store there. Um, that makes it easy. So all these jobs that, you know, you think, oh, my house is so messy. How am I going to keep on top of all this? Well, you don't worry about it until um, once a year. So that's pretty much all of the basic rooms in the house. This is the blank sheet that I've also included that you can um, create for the laundry, a rumpus room, a family room, a toy room, the garage, uh, storage space. Um, I didn't include the linen closet. That's another area that I've got to do. My linen closet is a separate area, so I might include that on the um, one of the bedrooms. But that's basically it. Now, if you if you're going to join in, um, by all means, share your before and after pictures, share videos of of yourself doing the jobs. Uh, I'd love it to be a really great place to encourage and inspire other people to do it because it really does make a difference and it gives you peace of mind and comfortability in your home. Your home will feel and smell fresher and it will be more peaceful and a, a more calm environment for you. And you don't have to stress about doing the whole lot in one week or, or, or a month. You just tick it off as you go. And like I said, things like washing the curtains, you can do you wash the curtains you set and forget and then give you know make yourself give yourself a time use the timer on your phone just 10 minutes at a time in the morning or at night if you're working full time save it for an hour on the weekend because you don't want to be spending your whole weekend cleaning even if you know dusting your fans or cleaning your light fittings at night when you get home from work they're just little things i know you're tired after you've been working all day but um they re really will help and you'll have a lovely, clean, fresh, inviting home by the end of it. And that's what I'm hoping for because um, our home definitely needs some calming with my teenage daughter at the moment. So um, that's it from me today. <clears throat> Thank you very much for joining. And I can't wait to see what you all get up to next week. I'll be starting on Monday and um, sharing different processes and ways that I do my cleaning. And I look forward to seeing you all then so bye for now and i'll drop the link to cleaning the thermo lined insulated um, curtains plus all these um, sheets in the file section of the group thanks for joining me today ladies and i'll catch you again soon bye